Hi guys, this is Pestoy and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today we're going to be covering the complete 17 Ragman tasks available since patch 8.3. I previously uploaded a video covering the first 13, however this one's now complete. So let's crack straight into it. So first up we've got only business. Now, majority of the player base will be able to just hand this in straight away. However, I believe that you won't require a reputation to be able to hand this in, it'll be more of a level based thing. Next, we have make ultra great again. This requires you to kill 30 scavs in interchange, and a lot of people have been having problems finding scavs with this. My advice would be to hit one of the major uh, supermarket complexes like the Idea, Ollie, or the supermarket, and then from there, head to the middle of the map. In each of those major supermarkets, you should get two to four different scavs, and then if you go to the middle, you hopefully be able to get one or two more before the, major, like the rest of the play base gets there. Once this has happened, Get out, start the raid again. If you stick around longer trying to find scavs, you'll generally just run into players and just waste a lot of time that way. However, it's still a good opportunity to grab some loot, make some money on the way out. Next, we have Big Sale. This requires you go to clothing stores all on the first floor of Interchange. I've highlighted on the map all the locations you need to go to. All you need to do is go to these locations, walk through the store, and then survive the raid. Once you've survived the raid, you move on to the next task. Next, we've got Blood of War. To complete this mission, you need to go to all three tankers within the interchange map, mark them all, and then leave the map. Previously, there was issues with it having to mark it in a certain order. However, these have been rectified, and now you should be able to just complete them like normal. Next, we've got Dress to Kill. For this one, you need to get the Ashunka Ear Flap Caps, seven of them, including seven cowboy hats. Now, the seven cowboy hats you can purchase from Ragman 4, or if someone else has Ragman 4, they can purchase it for you for level 22 dog tags. However, I found the best way to get the Yashunkit ear flaps is either from the clothing store mannequins throughout Interchange, or farming scavs on factory, and even scaving into factory, and quickly trying to find a scav that's wearing one, killing him, taking it, and running out. Hand these in, and it's completed. Next, we have Database Part 1. This requires you to go to the three locations within the map of Interchange and uh, loot the manifests which are all located in the major shopping areas. So you, for Ollie, it's inside the store. In Goshen, it's in their computer tech area or their computer area. And lastly for Idea, it's in their headquarter office little bit on the side. I've marked it on the map. Check the video out to make sure you know where you're going. Once you've looted them, you've got to survive the raid and then hand it in. Next, we have database part two. In order to complete this, you need the logistics office key for the Ollie section. This is found on customs near the factory key door in the boot of the car. Once you have this key, you need to head into the Ollie office area and open up the logistics office. Once you enter the room, it's located on the left. Survive the raid, hand it in. Next, we've got So It Good Part 1. For So It Good Part 1, you need to hand in two ski hats with holes. That's called the Schmaska, and it's not the actual Schmargs and as well as that, two pilgrim backpacks. Generally, it's quite easy to find pilgrim backpacks on scavs in factory. However, the Shamaska has been quite difficult for people to find. You can either loot them from scavs, but I haven't heard of anyone looting them from the mannequins yet. Next, we have So It Good Part 2. In order to complete this mission, you need to have a completely damaged, uh, up to 20% condition uh, gazelle, as well as one between 20 and 40%. Now, it's 20 to 40% of a fully healed one, and not the current durability left on the item. If an item is destroyed down to 0%, it needs to be repaired full, so you won't be able to actually reduce it down to the correct amount. The way I was uh, able to achieve this is I went into a raid, had a friend with a pistol shoot me in the armor, and then I exited the raid. Once the armor was down to say five or 10%, or even if you could work out to exactly where it needed to be, and then exit the raid, you could hand it straight in. Now it's come to my attention with this task, you can no longer purchase the Gazelle Armor from Ragman Level 4 until you've completed the 17th task for Ragman. So you need to start collecting them early, otherwise you're going to need to know somebody's completed the full Ragman tasks in order to get them to purchase one for you. Next we've got So It Good Part 3. For this, you need to do the exact same thing as Part 2, however with Fort Armor. Just remember that if you fully destroy the armor, you'll have to repair it to full and then break it down again to the correct amount. Next, we've got Sew It Good Part 4. This one's extremely easy com to complete. You just need to buy a WT rig, an AVS rig, and a Blackrock rig, all from Ragman, just two of each, hand it in, and it's finished. Next, we've got Charisma Brings Success. 
For this one, you need to have Charisma at level 10. Once your Charisma is at level 10, hand it in, move on to the next task. Next, we've got No Fuss Needed. To complete this, all you require is Therapist at Loyalty level 2. By this stage of the game, you should have it quite easily. However, otherwise complete some more Therapist tasks, because you've got guides for the Therapist. However, it's pretty straightforward. Hand it in, move on to the next task. Gratitude. Gratitude requires you to have a Ghost Bella Clava, which you can purchase from Ragman Part 4, as well as the Schmarg. Then you need some Ray Bench Sunnies, as well as Round Frame Sunglasses. Once you have all four of these, you need to head into Woods and go to the pier right at the bottom of the Lumber Mill. There's barrels located there, and anywhere on the pier you can place them down. Once you've placed all these items on the pier, finish the raid and survive, and you've completed the task. The key to success. With this task, you need to go to the bottom floor of Interchange to the bookshop. Once inside the bookshop, go to the second or third row of uh, books, and on the bottom, you'll see the uh, book leaning up against other books. From there, you need to head to the second floor towards the only end of the Interchange complex, and there's an arcade that has pool tables, some uh, kids' games, and some bookshelves. In front of one of the bookshelves and a pile of books on the floor, the book is there. Loot that, survive and exit, and hand them both over, and you completed the task. Sales night. In order to complete this task, you need to extract from Interchange 20 times. You don't need to worry about if it's a run-through or not. Any type of extraction will, su uh, will suffice. The developers have said in an upcoming patch there's going to be new extractions available, so keep an eye out for that. However, this is pretty straightforward and simple. Find the extraction, extract, do this 20 times, task complete. Supervisor. For this task, you're required to loot the Goshen uh, cash register key. This key is located on customs behind the gas station in the bus. Once you've looted this key, hand it over to Ragman and you complete the task. From handing in this task, you'll unlock the ability to purchase the Gazelle Armor, which was required for an earlier task. However, he doesn't give you a key back, so therefore you're going to have to loot a second key if you want to have the full key collection for interchange. So there you have it. As of patch 8.3, this is all the tasks available for Ragman. I hope you enjoyed this guide. I'm going to be releasing a key guide for all the interchange keys in the upcoming days. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, if you like this guide, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you next time.